Plus Haitian is out on 790. Dirty JNX Flies Guy on the radio. DJ Cash, the fly Haitian kid. I'm in the building. Check it out, man. You know, we always interview uh, dope producers. Hold right. it down on Wednesdays. That's what we do on Wednesdays. You know what I'm saying? We always give you a recap just for online purposes. So people and artists will know what the hell is going on, man. Go Grizzly. What's up, man? Man, feel good, man. Man, feel run good down them damn the songs you done produced, man, so people know what the hell going on, fool. Man, most recently, that Babysitter by the Baby. You know what I'm saying? Kevin Gates. I did that thick record. Okay. Three times in a row. You know what I'm saying? Going old school. Future, Nicki Minaj. Hey, boy, got So on name some of the songs so people be familiar. Because I feel like producers don't get enough credit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all face don't get up there enough. Yeah. Future and Nicki Minaj, I did a song called You the Baddest. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's a real big record for Future, him uh, and Nicki. Okay. Um, a Boogie. I did a song with him called Billy Jean. Okay. It was on his uh, last album. You know, the rest of him, it just went platinum and, and all that good stuff. Um... Kevin Gates, I got a whole list of Kevin Gates. Go, come on, running down the biggest ones. Top top three. Man, uh, oh my God. Top uh, five. Not the only one. Uh, Pose to be in love. You did Pose to be in love? For sure. The one he was whooping everybody ass? Yeah, so I thought it was legal to beat Joe, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Um, Wait a minute, so how did you feel about when he did that zone, man? Man. Was it like was it like shifty for you? Like, cause I mean that that song's kind of controversial to me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Mean, but I, I believe it, uh, artists should be able to speak and, and say what the hell they want. Yeah, I mean, he was being himself. Right. You know what I'm saying. That's the best you could be. Is honest. Has that you ever happened honest? to you? Where like you do a beat, you think it's fire, mm. and then you get it to the artist and they put something on it that you're like, nah, what the this fuck ain't is it. that? Yeah, or something <laughs> real testy. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I mean, I don't know. As a producer, it's it's a little less challenging for us because we kind of stay out the way. We in the background. You know what I'm saying? So all the controversy and stuff, it really revolves more around the artist. Right. You know, so how long have you actually been producing? I've been producing since 2010, so it's almost going on 10 years. So what's been the grind? Because you know nowadays these young cats, how old are you, by the way? 24. I'm going to be 25. Okay, you're a young cat still. So your generation is fucked up yeah, it is. a little bit. You know what I'm saying? They was a like little bit. Yeah, it's like nah, microwave. A lot of bit. A lot of bit. A lot of bit. Right. So it, and it's not it's not a disrespect, but I, I feel like they, they just want everything instantly. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It takes time. Like nobody would have thought that you had been working this hard nah, at 15 years old yeah. and grinding that long. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So tell them about that process of just working and staying down. I mean, I started out in my mama's bedroom on her desktop. You know what mm. I'm saying? I just I just knew this is what I wanted to do. And I kept doing it and kept doing it. And by the time I reached uh, the eyes of, you know, a few people, like my manager, Cash Johns, he reached out and he believed in me. So it, he just helped connect the dots with a lot of things. I just, all I had to do was be persistent. You know what I'm saying? Consistent. So how how, how was your mama's relationship, like your parents' relationship as far as like supporting you doing music? Because you know, mamas be wanting mm -hmm. better stuff for their son. You right, know what I'm saying? Right, you a big right. fella. You probably could play football or right, something like right, that. Right. Why you ain't making all that noise beating yeah. on stuff, man? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? What was that process? I mean, she was very supportive, of course. But you know, growing up in a uh, black household, it's always typical to, hey, get a job. Hey, right. go to school. Hey, do all this. So. It, it can be uh, hard to understand at first when you're the only one in your family doing something outside of the usual. You know? Right. So I just had to buck, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I know this is what you want me to do, but this is what I'm about to do. Right. I already know what's, what's popping. How's she feeling now? She feeling great, of course. Of course she loves right. it. She loves I'm, it. Like, I'm just making sure, because you know, sometimes like parents be, I be want to know like what parents really, really think, because you mm -hmm. know, my dad was always a aw oh, when I got into radio, didn't know nothing about radio. My parents are both engineers, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So if, to see me out here hustling, never go to college, straight out, fresh out of high school in my career and been in the career for 20 years, mm -hmm. you know my what I'm saying? My mother still and, thinks I'm, I'm unemployed. <laughs> for real? <laughs> she still don't understand and your mama you hates you too, so she knows oh, she's yeah. crazy. Yeah. What you doing now, selling dope? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for real. Yeah, for real. But like with all this technology coming out, how do you feel? We was talking about this a little bit behind the scenes, but how do you feel about, you know, you still you said you still use FL Studio. How do you feel about some people say, oh, if you don't play the instruments, you don't do this, then you ain't a real producer? Man, I've heard it all, honestly. But I, like I said, if you are a master at what you do, nobody can tell you anything. I've had guys try to tell me, hey, you can't do this on FL Studio, this NPC vibes, or hey, you can't do this because you don't play keys, and I'm going to prove you wrong every time. Every time. You know Confidence I mean? is key. Yeah, for sure. At Definitely. the end of the day, as long as it's, if, if it's something that's slapping, mm -hmm. it's I, undeniable. I don't think I don't think the listeners care how you make, how you make what it, you nah. made it on. Half of, half of the listeners don't even understand how that even is right. a, a thing. The concept of you that, yeah. So so what do you think about artists, man? Like, what do you what do you look for when you look into an independent artist, a young artist coming up? Uh, honestly, just, like I said, diversity and creativity, somebody who I feel like is a thinker. You know, a lot of these people are putting out, you know, kind of mindless music, which it's a vibe for, you know, a certain time and place. But I think the artists that have the most longevity are the ones that are creating real content, you mm. know what I'm saying, and, and can uh, do different types of music, not just stuck in one box. I know we was talking earlier on the radio, you know, and you were saying that you was actually, actually at the point where you, you about to come up where you actually looking for artists mm -hmm. and looking for a particular artist to work with and, mm -hmm. and put your... 
What kind of artist are you look are you looking for? Somebody definitely uh, melodic, but got swag on. Like not nobody who's just you know boxed in or right. uh, too uh, by the book. You know somebody who's not afraid to reach a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, diversity is key, like I keep saying, but a lot of these artists, they get stuck in that one zone, and then their shelf life is short. Right. So um, it's one of the things you hear a record, and you be like, no, like, oh, this kid got talent. Like, what do you, how do you, how, what's your process? Like, how do you know, like, yo, this the one? As is it a like producer, a gut feeling? It's, it's that, too. It's a lot of things. You know, as a producer, your ear is trained to listen for a lot of different key things, you know, okay. when you're listening to music. So it's, you know, certain artists have things that, you know, pique my interest or, you know, that I like about them. And I feel like as long as they're moldable, you know what I'm saying, I can take them in whatever direction we need to go. How is it sometimes, like, as a producer, like, you might have a vision for something and not, you know, everybody doesn't always see the vision or, mm -hmm. like, they can't hear it. Like, a, like you know, artists may hear being like, nah, that ain't. And have you ever had that experience where you have to talk an artist into a yeah, beat and it sure. wind up being a hit? For sure. For sure. I feel like that's what separates a beat maker from a producer. You know what I'm right. saying? A producer is really going to let you know, hey, I know you may not hear it right now, but, you know, mess with me on this. Kind of let's see where this go. And most of the time, those are the records that go. Is, is Has it happened to any of the songs that we might know? Like you might play it for a certain artist and they're like, or Kevin Gates and you're like, mm -hmm. nah. And then you he do it after you, you know, give the vision. Mm -hmm. He love it. Um... I mean, it's happened with a lot of artists. I, I can't really name off top right now. Gotcha. Mm. All right, what's, what's your man? Well, let them know your Instagram again. Yeah, my Instagram is at Go Grizzly, G-O-G-R-I-Z-Z-L-Y. And flex on the moment with time, you know what I'm saying? Let them know what are you working on that's coming out soon. Man, coming out soon, I got Polo G's next single. We got Kevin Gates album. We wrapping up A Boogie. You know what I'm saying? More work with uh Smoke Perp. And uh, shit, the list goes on. We're going to keep it going. All right, and for, before you leave, you can name one artist that you have not worked with mm -hmm. in the country yet. Who you got to do a record with? Drizzy Drake. Drizzy Drake. Y'all make sure y'all tag Champagne Poppy. Yeah, man. Okay? <laughs> Tell him I got a nice pack for him, man. <laughs> there it is, man. Y'all make sure y'all go ahead and tag Champagne Poppy right here, man. Drake, you dig? Dirty Boys, I don't seven nine. Go Grizzly. I definitely uh thank you for coming to the interview. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Rapping, kicking game, man. Salute sure. to you, big dog. Dirty Boys, I don't seven nine. You dig?